Hey y'all, just waking up. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me behind the scenes to an event that is a campaign. Um, I'm gonna get footage for the supermarket and it's gonna be like a, you know, a little event that I have to create content with because um, it is a paid partnership. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Now I'm in my closet trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear, which I should've done yesterday, but you know, I'm Tiffany. I decided to wait till the last minute. Um, it is, I think I'm going to go with more casual since we're going to be making and creating floral arrangements at this event and charcuterie boards. So I think I'm going to go with this brown blazer, a nice top and some jeans with some boots. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I actually have to finish recording my hair. I recorded a twist out for YouTube as well. So I can wear my scrunched boots. So far, this is what it looked like. It's a Calvin Klein jacket. I haven't worn it yet. I got it from TJ Maxx for cheaper. With my Fashion Nova jeans. Shoes. Don't mind the closet because that's where I'm storing all the gifts. <laughs> and we're gonna wear these scrunchy boots because they're super cute and comfortable. Okay, it's gonna be a full on look. I'm gonna go with the Baccarat scent since it's an event and I have a reason to wear it today. The scent is to die for. Up, and I'll show you what it looks like after. All right, y'all. So this is the look that I'm wearing for the event. Makeup is given. It's given natural. Eh, eh, we step back. We step back. Okay, so this is what, what what we're looking for. I'll show you the full length um when I go out into the living room. We just got here at Tom Thumb and we're going inside. And I'm gonna see if, if everybody got it all set up. Yes. Where the setup they have a charcuterie board where we'll be making our own charcuterie board and then this is a vase where we'll be taking and making our own fl floral arrangements which you guys already know that's my thing i love it they have mimosas and some breakfast stuff over there and coffee it's super cute and they have these little cute things right here where you can put all your stuff in so that it, it doesn't go to waste Okay, here is my favorite part because I love me some olives. So they had regular olives that wasn't in like oil or vinaigrette or anything like that. And I put them on this little stick that had like this little gold thing. So it was like really aesthetically pleasing. And then I just filled everything in with fruit, greenery, honey, cheese, li little pomegranate seeds, like skippies. Hey, hi. And I met these two beauties, Akia and, and Corey. Corey. They were Corey. amazing. And this is when we began to do our floral arrangement. Um, they gave us this disco ball vase that was really super cute. I got my flowers. Y'all know I love me some flowers. And we got to putting our floral arrangements together. They gave us some tips, but I pretty much do my own floral arrangements. I took on some of the tips, but I really like how mine came out. I lined the perimeter of the bowl with roses and then put the hydrangeas in the middle and just gave a little bit of greenery sticking out. So I wrapped up the charcuterie board. We got flowers here that I get to take home. So I'm gonna make another floral arrangement and then the flower that I made along with a nice little swag bag. 
this was a really really amazing partnership right up my alley this is somebody an agency who really seen the things that i love and said oh we want to work with you so here we are the boys oh, had extractions and Brianna had some work done on her teeth while my, my husband took them while I was at the event and this is how they Joseph were looking got afterwards. Extraction. And then we went to go Junior get them some lunch and drop on the you taking it like a G, huh? school because she wanted to go to the school basketball was it? game. On a scale from one to zero to ten. She was filled with lidocaine and mm. I told her she'll like probably be in pain later. She's it's actually texting me right, right now telling me that she's in a little bit of pain. So it's whatever. They don't listen. When we got home, I decided to take the disco vase and put it in my bathroom. I thought it looked cute there. I may switch it around a little. And this is Joseph's thoughts on the charcuterie board. It's olives, mozzarella, and tomato. No, this gold thing. Oh, it's, it's a toothpick, but it's a nice one. Don't mess with it. Now we even want this in the water. Just leave. Leave. Go. Bye. Bye. What? Still enjoying the charcuterie board. And that's one of my floor arrangements that I decide to put on the coffee table as... My YouTube video is down, trying to download for Vlogmas. And this is the end of our night until my husband has to get my our girls. Oh <laughs> our girls <laughs> from the basketball game. But yeah, that was our day. So um, that was the first time I really vlogged while I was out. I think I got most of the footage and I still wanted to be pretty much present for the event. So I had a really good time, got to meet some new people and creators in the area, whatever, and it was great. So if you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell and comment down below. Um, when you do charcuterie boards, let me know what you put on there for more ideas because I'm not really a cheese or dairy person. So there's a lot of cheese on mine that I'm not going to eat. So if you have any like alternatives or things that you put on there that you love, put it down in the comments. And like always, I'll see you in the next video.